today's project, can I pull two plus kilowatts from this panel connected into my EB120 to charge my AC200P from AC, but from solar, since I don't have the cables, because Max Oak out here bum me in these streets. Stay tuned. Okay, so here's the plan. First of all, I got a scavenge <laughs> uh, AC cable from here. I'm gonna use the Bluetti adapter, pop it in and charge it from solar. You can see that my EB120 is getting 286 watts from a 320 watt Renogy panel. It's using, yeah, I ain't using nothing. I just turned this on to power that lamp right there. That USB lamp is why it's getting four watts from the DC. So that's the plan. I'm gonna kind of count, and you can see it's almost full. I'm gonna count on the power coming in here and then try and kind of slick by <laughs> and drain this along with the solar to charge the AC200P. And if push comes to shove, I have one of those. I have that one, both 500 watt hour devices. I have other 500 watt hour devices that I could use throughout the duration of the day if they get full to dump an extra 500 watts into the AC200P. So operation, charge it from purely solar, even though it's AC, is in full effect. I'm gonna turn it on again because in the last video, I didn't quite show you guys that it was at 1%. See that? 1%. What kind of refurbished device comes at 1%? You explain that to me. <laughs> All right, let's get it. There is some fan noise from this, but it's not loud at all, which is pretty cool. It's plugged in. I heard the switch kind of come on. You can see that it's getting 456 watts. So it's shooting for the fences at the, <laughs> at the onset. It's not like a 200 or some or whatever. Now let's look at the EB. He's a 518 getting in 286. I don't know if we're gonna make it, but we're gonna try. It is 1055 right now. Um, I would like to say I'm coming back in an hour, but whenever I come back, I'll let you know how much time has transpired, and then we'll get to see what kind of percentage is that, and we'll also get to see what kind of whatever is going on here. Hopefully this works. So I came back a lot sooner than I thought. <laughs> it's actually 1125, so it's been approximately 30 minutes. And it is still taking at 454, and it's at 16%. So from 1% to almost 20% in a half hour. That is intriguing. Let's see how my old EB120 doing around here. <laughs> it still has three bars, getting in 290, kicking out 518. And I unplugged the... Uh, lamp from it um the usb one and the one that was on here because this cable goes to the back of that and i put my lamps on the bull back that way it's getting all the yeah i mean all the things well it is shoot i don't know what time it is it's like one something you can see this is off I'm getting in 266 and this got up to 59%. What's interesting is I just had the casual idea because my EB70 is almost full. Y'all know that that's on paper 700 watt hours, right? <laughs> Some people have been complaining that they're not getting full capacity. I was going to take it upstairs to charge it up there and give it about 20% to give this a break. But came down here and it was already off. I may still do that and see how it goes. I don't know. We'll see. So here is my EB70. You can see that it's pulling in. 137 only using 21 so i'm gonna put it on the big uh dip to see if i can get a 20 percent bump out of that before this one says i'm done so i'm hoping to only power this for an hour because i don't want to deplete this one because that powers my stuff here so i noticed something i plugged it in and it's not doing anything so plugging it it doesn't appear to charge it i think i need to turn it on to start charging look I don't know what happened while my last clip stopped recording. Okay, so it's not doing anything. It's plugged in and now I'm gonna turn it on. It's 
on. Wait for this little thing to click. I don't know if you heard it. Now it's pulling 520 something. And remember my computer and monitor is on here. I'm hoping to run this for about an hour. I don't want to drain this down completely, like I said. All right, we are at 81%. Let's see how much it drained the old EB70. Pulling 509 and it's pretty much down to its bottom 20%. So I'm going to bring it downstairs to let it finish out on the EB120. So actually, instead of using this, I'm going to let this kind of get some more power into it. And I'm going to use this one because it's almost full. It's pulling 126 watts. It's at 86%. It was charging this one. I'm going to take this one upstairs and put it on the panel. I know. <laughs> Who knows if it's going to actually charge or not. But we'll get the last 20%, I hope, from this one, which should be fine. 584 watts, 564 watts coming out. That includes a light bulb on, up here, which is pulling about 10 watts and 80 percent is about 400 so i should be able to cover that easy right right it's pulling in 470 watts from this one that's why these 500 watt power stations are really good because they have at least the capacity to send out 500 watts because they're matched well with the inverter there's some argument about whether you want to do a 1C rate from power stations like this, which is the charge at the one to one, so 500 watts out for 500 watt capacity watt hour. But hey, I'm out here thugging, you feel me? So did the bull back get this charged up? <laughs> no, it did not. Let's see how close I got it. Yay, not bad. 97%, I'll take that. So I'm going to top it off with this. Let's see what this is working with. So this should be able to finish it off. First charge, all off of solar. I would say this is mission accomplished. <music>